Hey, it's Derek and this is Postscript in five minutes or more. Let's go. What is it? Postscript is a premium self-serve SMS marketing tool with a deep Shopify integration, which gives you the ability to segment customers by over 30 different filters based on their history and interaction with your store. The power of their tool increases when you use their robust Klaviyo integration, which allows for additional segmentation and triggers based on email behaviors. SMS is a highly regulated space that requires explicit opt-in by your customers. You cannot simply buy a list of phone numbers or start messaging numbers. Even if people have provided you those numbers from billing information, you need their express consent. The TCPA compliance requires explicit opt-in with a clear way to opt out in every message or message sequence. Through Postscript, you will always meet all regulations required for attaining opt-ins and can put that worry to rest, allowing you to focus more on your messages, growing your list, and using SMS to generate real, tangible revenue. There are four different tools for growing your list through Postscript. The simplest being the native mobile pop-up that provides customers with an easy way to opt-in the first time they come to you. It works by generating a pop-up asking them to sign up for mobile messages, either in exchange for updates on your store or a discount usually depending on what works for your customer specifically. Once they click to sign up, their messaging tool, whatever it is, SMS, iMessage, et cetera, will open up a phone number and the appropriate message with auto text populated for them to send that text. All they have to do is hit send and they'll be registered with your store. Other ways to get people to opt in uh, that they provide are through text to opt in, like a certain number, lists or links that they can share that you can then send out in an email, or if you wanna use a QR code. Postscript is dedicated to removing the spam out of SMS. By providing better segmentation, targeting, and relevant messages to your customers, they offer two main types of messaging. It's action-based automation campaigns and manual campaigns. Once a campaign is created, you can utilize over 30 customer filters to drill down on the specific type of customer you want the messages to go to. For example, you can create an automated cart abandonment campaign that offers different discounts based on the value of the cart. So if customer A abandons a cart worth $50 and customer B abandons a cart worth $200, you can set different messaging criteria and different discounts given to those two different people. Another great feature of this tool is the ability to respond live to customers who reply to your messages. Whether you utilize a help desk like Gorgeous or Zendesk, or it is just up to you or your team, Postscript automatically notifies you of a reply and allows you to respond in that moment. You don't even have to go into the tool. They'll generate an email and you can respond through your own email thread or however you'd prefer. It's a seamless one-to-one -one conversation experience. Your Postscript dashboard makes it easy for you to see high-level data that is easily digestible in a matter of seconds. You can view sends, click rates, order volume, and even a custom stat they call EPR or earnings per recipient. This is an awesome data point that tells you how much you're earning per message sent and received. It's calculated based on a customer opening your message within 24 hours. They use a 24 hour view through window. So if someone opens the message within 24 hours, or if they click on the link in the message and purchase within seven days, seven day purchase attribu attribution, which is very similar to Facebook or Google and other places. Competitive landscape. SMS marketing is a pretty competitive space. All the rules and regulations have made it difficult for many companies to implement a solution in the past, but tools like Postscript and others are changing that. On top of that, it is tough to sometimes convey a message in the limited space that it takes for an SMS. And each message does cost money uh, to be sent, between one and seven cents if it's a MMS or a message with images in it. Also worth noting, many tools that do SMS also have branched into other channels like Facebook Messenger, push notifications, and email. The most direct competitors in this space are SMS Bump, Retention Rocket, Attentive, and IM Power, as well as another one called SMS Live. With the more specific omni-channel tools being OmniSend, Privy, MiniChat, FirePush, and Octane AI. And there are at least a dozen other tools that offer SMS marketing for e-commerce merchants in one way or another. Biggest differentiator. Postscript's nuanced segmenting abilities really set them apart from other SMS providers. Their automations for sending specific messages based on purchase or abandonment histories tailor that customer experience in a way that retains the customer on your list instead of getting more unsubscribes. And they are even in the process of building their own recommendation engine that would help merchants capitalize further on how they position products in their messaging. Another crucial component to their tool is the two-step opt-in process. 
being able to recognize a mobile device, pop up a notification for that user, get them to very easily opt in without actually entering their own phone number. They just hit yes and then send. I love this low barrier to entry and I bet it increases conversion rates. Metric impact. When it comes to SMS, you're first going to care about revenue and ROI. Most campaigns will be centered around abandoned car, abandoned checkout, abandoned product, and you'll have very specific calls to action which will generate real tracked revenue. That being said, the revenue that PostScript and other SMS marketing tools report on will overlap with revenue from other channels, meaning take the actual number of revenue with a grain of salt. After all, you are the one that got that person to opt into SMS marketing in the first place, and I'm sure that happened through however they got to the website or Facebook ad or whatever it is. On top of that, you will have bigger blast campaigns and discounts or promos that you send. All should also be leading back to track revenue. And of course, you always want to track your earnings per recipient, responses from SMS to understand the impact on customer service, total recipients on your list, and open and click-through rates. When should you use it? SMS marketing works well for highly competitive markets, such as makeup brands, clothing stores, and high volume traffic sites where you need a strong differentiator for your business. One example of the type of business that is killing it with PostScript right now is niche baby brands. These companies are usually followed by new mothers, most likely millennials and younger generations, who respond well to text messages. When shouldn't you use it? Just like email marketing, if you don't have an asset to send a message to, you won't generate revenue. You need opt-ins. So low and no traffic sites won't magically get new customers through SMS, and you can't just purchase a list and fire out texts, that's against the law. Unlike with email, you have to have opt-in. And it does cost money to send these messages, so if you have really slim margins or no budget at all, solve that problem first. Personally, I believe everyone should have an SMS marketing strategy. The real question is, when do you invest? Integrations. PostScript integrates, of course, with Shopify, but also with Klaviyo, Aftership for sending out order notifications and shipping messages, Gorgeous, Recharge, Swell, and many other e-commerce tools. They also, like many tools, have the ability to add custom integrations. Pricing. Pricing is volume-based. The more messages you send, the more you pay. Plans start as low as $25 per month for 2,500 messages and go up to $10,000 a month for companies that might be selling a million messages or more. Postscript plans are month to month and you can upgrade or downgrade at any time. They also allow you to roll over unused messages for 30 days so you aren't losing out on the messages you've paid for. Setup time and resources. You can install Postscript in a few clicks, have a basic pop-up and abandoned cart sequence running in about 30 minutes, and be generating revenue in under an hour. From there, you can technically set it and forget it, checking in on a weekly or monthly basis. That being said, the more you invest into segmenting and creating dedicated sequences for improving conversion rates, the more you will get out of this tool. Typically, the CEO, the founder, or whoever's in charge of marketing will be running the tool. Larger companies may have a VP or director of marketing or a marketing manager that'll handle it. And you may have somebody in operations using the tool because you'll have your customer service team in there responding and engaging to messages that come back from your recipients. Final thoughts. Postscript is a pretty slick tool that offers small businesses the chance to reach their customers on pretty much everyone's favorite device, their phone without costing a fortune or requiring a full-time resource investment. PostScript is currently working out on building their AI tools for that fuzzy opt-out, like when people don't say stop exactly, but they want you to stop. They're also working on automations for specific follow-up messages based on a customer's previous purchase history. For example, if I, a watch company recognizes that most people who purchase a brown watch also like a brown wallet, then they'll recommend that tool. That's pretty slick. Related tools. Have you tried push notifications yet? This is a channel similar to SMS, but it focuses more on the browser than the phone. You can do abandoned cart pushes and many other things that you could do with SMS. Check out my video on Push Owl to learn more. You're gonna need a tool to handle responses to your SMS blasts. Consider Gorgeous, the help desk built for Shopify stores with a direct PostScript integration. You can check out my video on Gorgeous to learn more about them. Well, that was PostScript in five minutes or more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If this app interests you, please do click on my partner link somewhere around here, or you could book a forever free consultation with me, Derek Haney. I'd be happy to discuss PostScript and how it relates to the rest of your tech stack. I will see you next time.